What's up guys, I am Black Ops Amazing and welcome to my GTA Q&A episode 9. Today guys, we're going to be talking about a ton of awesome DLC ideas from you. But just before we get into the video, if you do go into enjoy it by the end, all I ask from you is that you leave a like rating. And if you do want to see some more content like this up on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button on screen now or below the video guys. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy. So just before we get into it, if you don't know how this works, all you need to do is leave your DLC ideas for GTA 5 down in the comment section below. It could be a DLC idea, it could be anything you want to tell me about GTA 5 or a question you have for me on GTA 5. And if I think they are awesome and good enough for the next video, I will put them in the next video for you guys. So let's get straight into this. So the first question from Nick Bryden asks, do you think they'll put gas DLC into GTA 5 where your cars actually use gas to make it a little more realistic? I'd really like to see this in the game, although I don't think they will put it in the game. Actually implementing it into the game I think could be a little bit difficult. And also they'd have to work out the different mileages for each car that's in the game and also I think it could get a lot of people frustrated. Plus they are working on the heist at the moment so even if it did come, which I don't think it would, it definitely wouldn't come any time soon. And still on the topic of the heist, Anthony McNuckles asked when do you think the heist will be coming out? Well I initially thought they'd be coming out full time when GTA 5 is released for the next gen consoles and the PC but then again they said the heist will be coming this July. They haven't, they've delayed it, but because they said the heist will be coming July, they can't be too far off finishing them now. So I reckon around August time, maybe early September, the heist will be coming. So on to the DLC ideas, Jonathan Hunsucker said they should definitely add the ability to customise your bikes in the game. And yes, I think they should also do that, you can customise your cars, you can customise your motorbikes but not BMXs or mountain bikes. I think they should really do that, we don't have many different types of bikes. If we can't customise bikes, what about a BMX DLC or a mountain bike DLC or just a uh, push bike DLC in general? I think that'd be really, really awesome. But yes, I'd love to customise my BMX, take it down, choose whether I want stunt pegs on it, change the tyres. I'd really like to see that DLC, it'd be something different. Okay, so I just went to get a drink. I am now back. My voice is going a little bit, but nevertheless, we must troop it on. The next question or idea is from Tropic Stuff, and he said, I want them to add a landmine into GTA 5. Yes, I'd love to see that, although there could be a balancing issue with that. I'd like to see a Claymore or some type, some type of landmine, Bouncing Betty, something like that, that you actually don't have to trigger yourself just put it down although you'd probably get a load of people surrounding garages and putting them all down so maybe they kind of had to put a distance on it um, so like you can't place them near garages or in certain areas but yes I'd definitely love to see them in the game but yo Gibson says what about the cruise ship from the mission in the game and yes I think I totally know what he means I just want to focus on that bit at the top on one of the Michael missions in the campaign you have to go and rescue your daughter off a yacht or a yacht, I'm not too sure how you pronounce that. Last time I said that, I got slaughtered in the comment section, but you need to go and rescue your daughter from the cruise ship. I'll put a picture of that cruise ship on screen now. And I'm just wondering why they never implemented it into the game for you to actually play, for you to actually ride. Again, I'd love to see that thing in online. You could ride it about the ocean, ride about the sea, and uh, you know, just get your friends on, on the uh, ship. It's really, really big. Again, you can see the image on screen. It looks really, really cool. I'd like to see them bring that back into the game. There's a load of things in GTA 5 that you can see, or in the trailers that you saw, that were never actually implemented into the game, and they would have actually made awesome additions to GTA 5. Jesus Latimer said there should be a hot air balloon and I totally agree with that. I've got an awesome idea for that. That could be for a summertime DLC. They could have a DLC pack called Summertime and uh, I think this should be available for only online. And instead of having the uh, blimp which we have in the campaign, they should use the same mechanics as the blimp but instead replace the uh, texture with a hot air balloon. I think that'd be really, really awesome. Obviously, just change a few things around, but the hot air balloon should only be for online instead of just be replacing the blimp. But for online, they should add it as a summertime DLC. And uh, I think that'd be really, really awesome. You could have a, uh, a balloon man. Whoever operates a balloon, you could have his uniform and just some awesome summertime DLC clothing. And uh, that could be one of the vehicles. I think that'd be really, really awesome. I don't know if you call a hot air or a balloon a vehicle, I think you would because you're right. I'm not too sure, but I think that'd be really awesome. 
And finally, Brandon Cooper said you should be able to get the massive jumbo jet online. I think everyone can agree with that. The massive Boeing 747 or whatever it is. The jumbo jet that you can get in the campaign. We should get that online. I don't see why we can't. It's online. We can see them right there. We just can't access them for some reason. I don't know why. I don't see how it could break the game or harm the game. It's just more fun for GT Online. And I'd really love to see that. I'm going to end it here, guys. One, because my voice is starting to get a little bit sore. And two, because we've come past five minutes now, there are so many many more awesome comments I really just want to read out uh, but I just can't because we'll go up to 10 minutes and it's an awful long video especially when the voice is hurting uh, hopefully we can save them for the next video anyway so if you do want to appear in the next video if you have an awesome idea for GTA 5 some DLC leave everything in the comment section below and the best ones I'll pick for the next video guys thank you all very much for watching if you've enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like rating if we could reach over 300 likes that'd be absolutely amazing if you do want to see some more content like this up on my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button on screen now all below the video guys thank you very much for watching Follow me on Twitter, links down in the description. And until next time, peace out.